The Earth during the late Carboniferous period was incredibly different from today. Much of the world's land masses were congregated into the supercontinent Pangaea, and the majority of the tropics were covered in a vast wetland forest. These swampy areas were known as coal forests and were home to an array of bizarre creatures. Amphibious tetrapods like Proterogyrinus were well adapted to this moist habitat, and the first reptiles like Hylonomus evolved here in the Carboniferous wetlands. Gigantic insects like Meganeura filled the skies, but even larger arthropods crawled along the forest floor. Arthropleura was a genus of humongous millipedes which lived during the late Carboniferous and early Permian. One species, Arthropleura armata, is estimated to have grown to as long as 2.5 meters and is the largest terrestrial invertebrate to ever exist. This millipede had a flattened body which was divided into approximately 30 segments. Fossilized footprints demonstrate that these large arthropods moved quickly along the forest floor, and were agile enough to avoid obstacles like trees and rocks as they did so. The unprecedented size of Arthropleura is the result of a combination of factors, the most important of which was the increased level of oxygen in the Carboniferous atmosphere. With anywhere from 10 to 15% more available oxygen in the air than we have today, even creatures without lungs like arthropods were able to grow to large sizes. Arthropleura's breathing was likely facilitated by pocket-like features beneath each body segment. In addition to the oxygen-rich atmosphere, Arthropleura's large size may also be related to the high moisture levels and lack of large terrestrial predators in the coal forest. The absence of predators can also explain why Arthropleura's armor plating was only a few millimeters thick, since heavier armor would have been unnecessary. Further than that, this armor was not reinforced by calcium carbonate, meaning that it was less robust than the armor of modern crustaceans. Due to its large size, this millipede was once thought to be an active predator. This portrayal of Arthropleura was based on comparisons to modern predatory species like the Amazonian giant centipede. However, researchers have since remarked that no Arthropleura fossils have been found with hardened mouthparts, a feature which would surely have preserved in at least some fossils if it was present. Because it seems to have lacked powerful mouthparts, Arthropleura was most likely a herbivore which was more comparable to modern millipedes than centipedes. This hypothesis is further supported by the presence of fossilized plant fragments and spores in the gut of Arthropleura. As the Carboniferous transitioned to the Permian period, the Earth's climate began to dry out. As a result, the coal rainforests upon which Arthropleura depended began to shrink and fragment. This event is known as the Carboniferous Rainforest Collapse, and led to the depletion of plant life across the globe. Consequently, the atmosphere's high oxygen levels began to decline, eventually leading to the extinction of all giant terrestrial arthropods. While Arthropleura could never survive in modern day conditions, we are lucky enough to be able to look back and marvel at this sizable creature.